Hey developers, today we're gonna look at something a little different. So there's this website called Indie Hackers. It's a website I like, it has podcasts, it has community information in there, but it also has a section called Landing Page Feedback. And in that section, anybody can post their projects they're working on and you can get feedback on it. So I went ahead and, and have found a few random ones and I thought maybe I would just go ahead and, and give my feedback live here and I can show you some things that I think are good, some designs that I like, and maybe some that can be improved on. So uh, before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. And our sponsor today is Udemy. So I put a link in the description below to some of my favorite Udemy courses. And what's really cool is they just started this 10 day sale. If I wouldn't wait for 10 days, I would look at it now. So they're back to $9.99. They do these $9.99 sales uh, every so often, maybe once every few months. Uh, they usually do like a $14.99 or $13.99 sale in between those. But this is usually the lowest they'll ever go. So, uh, you know, one course I really like that I have a link in the description below is the one by Angela Yu. And she has one called... Look, she has a bunch, iOS 11, the complete 2019 web development bootcamp. It's super high rated, 18,000 ratings, 43 and a half hours. So I think just to, this is a great course just to, you know, just go over real quickly. See, make sure you understand everything. I did a review of this a while back uh, and I recommended it and I still recommend it today. So yeah, go and click on the link in the description. Check out all the courses Udemy has and check it out. All right, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of Vue.js in Action, which you can get a free copy of the first chapter. It's in the link in the description below. So let's go and just start off with uh, a random one here. I actually opened up a few from the last few days. So yeah, let's do this one first. So this is called Context, and it's just really simple to design. Uh, just one page. Uh, you know, just looking at it, I like it. You know, it's really simple. Um, if you click this little try free beta button, uh, it it just downloads a zip file, which it just takes a second. You know, one thing I like about it, if we go and inspect here and then we go into the mobile view, which is just take a second. Here we go. Um, my computer's lagging a little bit. Let's see here. One second. There we go. So it's really not too much to this, but if you click on this, it actually downloads a zip file. And you know, one thing I, I think if you, this is a sketch uh, kind of uh, plugin, you know, but if you're on mobile, you don't wanna click a button and download a zip file. You want maybe some kind of email opt-in so, you know, one thing I would say, just looking over this, is that instead of have the try free beta button, I would have an email, which you can put your email in, and then it would forward you to a page that you can then download the plugin. That's also good because then you can start building an email list, and then if these people are interested in this plugin, you can get feedback from them. And then also, if you're in mobile, then you can kind of put your email in, and then when you're back at your computer, you can then download the plugin. So that's the only you know feedback I have on this. I think it's just really, really simple. Uh, they have this, if you click here, it opens up this pretty good looking video which it goes over everything. Uh, this has this little Vimeo video right here too, which is fine. And then they have a contact us, which uh, looks like it works well, great. So that, that's the only feedback I had on this one. You know, just really simple design, just a free plugin. Uh, I, I like this. It's above the fold. This is really catches your eye, this try free beta. So, you know, I like that. So let's take a look at a website that could use a little bit more love. This is called SK Tuts. And the first thing I noticed when I opened this up is there's just a bunch of errors in the console like this. Um, they have console log messages installed too. They have like an error with their Google Analytics and they have this onesignal.com error. Uh, so definitely not a good start to this. Um, sometimes it loads and sometimes it doesn't, which is also kind of a bad thing. So let's see if I can get it to load. Shoot, let's see, contact. You can see there's like a little in the top right hand corner, they have 
like a loading bar, which I think is pretty bizarre. I would make sure I would put it like in the middle if I was going to do it or have like maybe some sort of like skeleton load. Um, you can see here, these are all like, they do have links on these. So you can go to it. And this is kind of weird. Your website is the same website we're on. Um, yeah, this one is not working at all. So lots of errors right now. It's almost completely broken. You see it tries to load the middle and then it just kind of dies. So I don't know what's wrong with this. This this website was on Indie Hackers and yeah, lots of problems. I don't really like this bar down here. I think this is a part of a plugin you can get to um, some smart plugin. Yeah, I think this, this website pretty unusable right now. It's pretty broken. So let's uh, let's move on to another one. Okay, so here's uh, one called Sync Progress. Now, just looking at it, uh, if you if doing web development for a while, you'll probably know something right away. And yep, this is a bootstrap site. So you can, this these buttons and this header right at the top, just give it away right when you look at it, which considering, you know, if you want to just get started real quickly, using bootstrap is fine. But if, I think if you're selling a product, you might want to step it up a little bit. You know, it's just my opinion. I mean, this is fine. It does look okay. If you go to the, I've, I've looked at the sources. And one nice thing is you can see here, bootstrap right here. Um, let me see, think, I think this, yeah, here is the whole source code in here. And just looks like it's plain HTML, CSS. I don't see like any frameworks or anything. But you can see they're using Bootstrap, Font Awesome, theme.min.css, jQuery. So this is a kind of an older, this is a newer site, but you know, jQuery still works fine. Some UMD popper. You can see here in the source, yeah, there's like a carousel and a drop down and a modal. So that's how they built it. And once again, you know, I think, you know, Bootstrap's fine, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Just kind of scrolling down, there's a few odd things. You can see the alpha in the top left-hand corner. The padding is not perfect around the alpha, so I think that could be a little bit better. The um, daily the daily standups, you know, this kind of this highlights this integration. But I mean, it's okay. I don't know why some of these links are blue and clickable, and then some aren't. So that kind of that's a little weird. If you hit manager. Agile team, it just opens the main site again. But if you click on tracks your daily progress, it doesn't go anywhere, which I think is a little weird. Let's take a look at the responsiveness. The responsiveness looks good. You know, it's all stacking like it's supposed to be. Uh, I don't love this this at the bottom, this footer where the blog is this kind of ugly blue link while the, all the other links are just gray. Maybe this was just to call it out a little bit. Maybe there's a better way to do that. I don't know, maybe a different color than blue. I guess it does go along with the other links. Maybe make this a little smaller too. If you click on that, you, you're you brought to the blog. Our inter integrations live. I mean, everything looks fine here. No, no big problems. Yeah, I mean, it's a good looking site. I know that I definitely, it could be a little bit better, I think, just by making a few tweaks, maybe getting rid of the default bootstrap, just fixing a little of the alpha. See, here's the pricing page. You know, it all stacks nicely. I kind of don't like this this payment fax. I'd probably put these um, like 100% width across instead of stacking it from left to right. That's kind of weird. You see, it looks good here, but these probably should be their own columns instead of stacking that way on mobile. Hmm. Let's see. When anything, let's take a look at support. Oh, this is kind of weird right here. So there's an email address. We're always help to help via email, but it's not clickable. So I'm not sure why they didn't make that a clickable link. It seemed like that would make sense. And then once again, you have that weird two column layout and mobile, which I don't think looks good. Um, let's see here. There's a starting guide because you have to do a login for that. And then support, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Okay, well, that, that's all I have to say on this. You know, just a few things, maybe make this clickable, fix the alpha, 
um, maybe make a full column instead of uh, multiple columns, multiple two column layout here. So that's all I have to say on this one for sync progress. So let's do one more. Uh, why not? Here is just a real simple website called App Recorder. This was also on Indie Hackers. So the first thing I notice is like this email is just this huge email at the bottom and uh, definitely shouldn't be that big. It looks really weird at the bottom like that. And you know, one thing I would say is if you're looking at above the fold, you want to put everything you want someone to do kind of near the top of the page. So I would take this submit and email first scale it down. So it's the right width, put some gap between the submit and email. And I will also say this border radius is really, really high. I don't really like that. I would, I would loosen up the border radius, put it smack down in the middle, like right under app recorder and just make it like the first thing people see so they can put their email address in. I mean, it looks, it looks better on mobile. Like if we go to like a mobile layout, then it's sort of the same, the right sides, right size. But once again, I would put it at the top. Um, yeah, so that's all I have today. Those were like three or four websites that I, I think can be some, need some improvement. You know, let me know your thoughts below if you, uh, if you agree or disagree. And also, you know, make sure you check out Udemy and the links in the description below. Thanks.